Do you like breeding? I know you like breeding. You love breeding so much. Just like capitalism breeds innovation. Or maybe not. So recently, and I usually don't talk about tech stuff, but uh, I wanted to talk about this because I feel like I can I can pull this into a politics related topic. Um, recently, Apple um, released their iPhone 15. And I'm saying this as a strong Android user of a Galaxy Fold. Um, but also as a user of Apple products, I do have an iPad as provided to me by my school. Um, I, I would like to say this. Corporatocracy is stupid, and sticking by name brands sucks. Okay? Sticking by name brands absolutely sucks. And uh, we can see this. So Apple has been lauded for their strength in their materials. Yeah, someone clip that, please. Um, Apple has been lauded for the strength of their materials. Also, hello, Bazooka Horse. Uh, Vosh's alt is here while I'm talking about breeding, of course. Um, the strength of their products. Absolutely. They never shatter. At all. Never. Um, except for the iPhone 15, which, if we can just watch this recent clip from Jerry Rig Everything, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at this, actually, right quick. Titanium grafted hybrid structure compromises the structural integrity of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Titanium grafted hybrid. And after this clip doesn't have it, after he literally says, I wasn't expecting that. Structure. Like, like, let's watch this again. Let's watch what he does. Of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. He just presses on it, and the back glass shatters. Like, you can even see in the way that, like, he examines the phone after this happens. Like, he's just, like, what? <laughs> like, like, what? What? Um, so you may be saying pillow. Why, why are you talking to me about this? Why are you, why are you talking about this? This is a politics channel. Well, well, it's simple. I'm sick and tired of people saying that capitalism will always make products better and will always breed innovation. And anytime someone says that to me, I'm just going to send them this clip. Let, let's look at this innovation. So innovative. Phones that shatter when you sit on them. You know? Phones that go in your pocket. That shatter when you uh, apply any force more than a literal leaf on them. Because of course. Uh, but my free market? Yeah. Yeah, and that'll only cost you another month's rent. Yeah. This is the good quality iPhone too. This is the, this is the flagship model with the titanium frame. You know? The titanium frame. That'll cost you literally a month's rent, and maybe also some utility payments, depending on how much your rent is. Yeah, let's let's actually see exactly how much the iPhone 15 costs. What is this? What is this? The Pro Max cost? Yeah, let's see how much the iPhone 15. Oh, wait, look, I can't actually see the full price of this phone. You know why? Because it costs so much that you buy it on credit. Those are the offerings. Buy the phone on credit, you peasant. We know you can't afford this up front. We don't want you to afford it up front. Pay for our store credit card and bill. Sign up for it. You will pay us in installments. You will have a phone payment, and your phone payment will have a payment, and your phone payment's payment will have a payment, and your phone payment's payment payment will have a monthly payment and an additional surcharge of fifty nine ninety nine point ninety nine ninety nine 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 nine. Give us your money, please. Capitalism breeds innovations. It's like we're sitting in back and breeding your wife because that's what you have to pay us because you fell back on your phone payment. So now we get to breed your wife. And she gets to have all of her apple babies, and the apple babies get to make apple pie. 
There are no longer buns in the oven, it's apple pies in the oven. We are apple. Give us your spine, so that we can make an expensive phone out of it, and make Chinese workers jump off of buildings. This is purely joking, please do not sue me, Apple. I cannot afford it. I'm a college student. Yeah? Think different, yeah. Hey, listen. You can buy the 15 Pro for, uh... Oh, the 15 Pro Max. Oh, I'm sorry. From, uh... $1,200. Or $50 a month. Oh, I'm sorry. $49.95 a month for 24 months. Sign up for our credit. It's so stupid. Yeah, the whole titanium frame thing was meant to make the iPhone more durable. Because they've been using aluminum frames, which famously bent. Uh, when they came out with it in the iPhone 6, they famously bent. Actually, as a matter of fact, a few years ago when I was in middle school, I had an iPhone 6 when I was in middle school. Dog. It bent. I didn't do shit to it, and it bent. Okay? And then eventually, the battery died on me. I had to- I literally had to hook up my iPhone to my PlayStation to get it charging, because I couldn't pull enough power through a power brick that came with the phone because the battery died which is why I use Android Android I've never had that issue of the battery just conking on before um but hey you know and you can also buy it in so many colors look at all of this innovation like natural titanium blue titanium white titanium Black titanium. Gray. Off beige. Yeah, off beige. Off black. Off beige. But it looks a little milky, so we're calling it white. Off black. But it's actually gray, but we're calling it black. That'll be $1,200, please. Oh, but let's let's not forget the new features that capitalism bred for them. Oh, Apple, in all of their beauty and their might and their smartness. I know androids are better. Yeah, I, I have an android. I'm an android kitty bell. Um, also, androids can be crap too. They, they also suffer from capitalism. Hey, let's be honest, okay? Apple, in all of their smartness and in all of their innovation, guess what they did? All by their own volition. They switched to USB-C. They're so smart. They joined the industry standard, once again proving that capitalism breeds innovation. They absolutely did not get regulated into doing that by the European Union, who got sick and tired of them charging premiums for producers making lightning cables. The proprietary cable that Apple used. They, they definitely didn't get regulated into using USB Type-C at all on their iPhones, aka their most bought product, the one that they would want people to use Lightning on, because, you know, money. Because most people, like, like if you're gonna get an Apple product, it's gonna be an iPhone. You know, like they put on their MacBooks and their iPads, which, you know, some people get. But a majority of people who buy Apple products buy iPhones, so they, they kept their proprietary cable on that to make it look like they were making the switch, even though they could have just done it one year across all of their devices, and it wouldn't have been an issue at all. And it's almost like the reason why they switched over to USB Type-C for their iPads and also their MacBooks was because it is the better charging standard that charges faster and better. Um, which they would need for their more beefy devices. Anyways, um, capitalism breeds innovation, folks. Uh, just like Apple is consistently going into your pockets, 
and absolutely screwing and breeding those because you know give us money we want money that's absolutely what we want look when it gets down to it this is an issue that we see across all industries yeah the back glass on your phone shouldn't break with a little bit of pressure and it shouldn't do that because the brand new spiffy titanium frames that they came up with turns out kind of screws the structural integrity of the back glass you know the piece that should have the most structural integrity because it's glass uh and shatters because it's glass you know it's not like we should maybe consider that yeah but no those new brand new titanium frames that are supposed to make the, the the phone stronger actually just forces a lot of the pressure that would have been once dispersed throughout the aluminum frame uh, actually just channel into the glass because you know point of least resistance oop phone popped oh well that'll be twelve hundred dollars and your wife's uterus please we're gonna breed her that's the innovation that capitalism breeds Innovation of the human race. Looks like it's breeding time. With that being said, uh, if you like this video and you don't want to get absolutely bred by Apple, make sure to like, subscribe, or you do want to get bred by Apple. You know, I am a leftist content creator. We have plenty of degenerate bottoms here, so you know. Um, be sure to join the Discord server down below. Also, you can like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. So that you know whenever I go live or post one of these videos. You can also follow me on Twitter down below. Twitter for Android is what I tweet off of. I'm not saying that Android is necessarily better. They also struggle. But uh, Apple, Apple is really suffering right here. You know, being proprietary and all of that. Uh, so, you know, you can also do that down below. I love you all. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Gotta hit the stop recording button.